ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys once again for supporting my channel and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. I know it's been a while since I've been on camera. You guys and I have been fasting and feeling good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back to bring y'all some videos today. So it's been so much drama going on concerning the whole Grammy situation. And as you guys all know, I went live on Sunday. I did a live stream. But what ended up happening is that when I went to go check the playback, the lagging was so horrible. I don't know what the hell YouTube was on, maybe because it was a lot of people online. But the lagging was so horrible. I just went ahead and just took the videos down. So thank you to everybody who came through on Sunday for the Grammy talk. It was a lot of technical issues once again. And shout out to everyone who sent the super chat that I didn't get a chance to see or shout out because of the lagging. Thank you. I appreciate it. I did receive them. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Cardi B situation. So as we all know, this past Sunday on the Grammys, Cardi B was the first solo female to win Best Rap Album, okay? And so, you know, initially when everything was announced, we watched Cardi go up there she was so happy you know offset went up there with her she looked beautiful she also performed money during the show and i thought she did really good as well i'm not gonna put any clips in here because as we all know cbs is on the damn takedown spree okay but anyhow so you know she was getting congratulations from a lot of people and then of course all of the hate and all the backlash started coming at her, okay? And it was coming at her just really, really crazy. I mean, I know even the stuff I was posting, she was getting a lot of hate. People were saying that she didn't deserve it. You know, she's not black. You know, why they up in this Latina? Now, what's so funny, okay, if you guys remember months ago, I made a whole video breaking down to people that Cardi B was not phenotypically black, okay? That she's a Latina woman, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised in the Bronx. She's a Latina. She looks at herself as a Latina, as a Dominican, even though her mom has Trinidadian roots, okay? So it's funny that when I made that video months ago, I was attacked. She's black. Shut the hell up. You're just jealous. You're just a hater. She's black. She's black. She's black. But now that this woman don't want a Grammy, now the narrative is being spun to she's not black at all. She's a Latina and she's taken out a black woman's mouth. You see why I don't take social media seriously? Because most people on social media, I feel like some of y'all, y'all don't have your fathers, okay? You don't have your fathers. Shout out to Monty Woodgrain for that. Anyhow, that's how I feel. It's like, I just can't keep it with the hypocrisy, you know what I'm saying? Because again, just a few months ago, she was black, you know what I'm saying? She was representing for black girls and then now that she's won one of the most prestigious awards in the industry now she's a latina she does not represent black women she's getting all of this hate when she never claimed to be you know an african-american or a black woman ever y'all put that on her even when i was breaking it down and saying stop trying to say that she's black because you're going to find yourself highly disappointed i also broke it down as to how she was able to grow so fast because she speaks two languages she comes from two different worlds so that's how she was able to grow because they were able to market her to many different demographics the caribbean demographics the african americans the latinos the spanish speakers the english speakers the new yorkers she fits into so many boxes it's crazy so i'm not surprised at all that she won a grammy i'm not surprised at all at how fast that she's grown in the industry and with her growing so fast with her gaining so much popularity there's always going Going to be that negativity there's always going to be that backlash okay so after the grammys after everything went down about an hour after the grammys her husband offset posted a video of cardi b giving birth to baby culture and basically it's to promote his new album i want you guys to go ahead and check this out really quick i 
Okay, I wasn't expecting all that, all right? So that's what Offset posted. And then later on that night, Cardi B also posted a video. And she was talking to Baby Culture, trying to get Baby Culture to say mama. And Baby Culture did. She said mama. And Cardi B was just ecstatic. So instead of this woman out partying after her Grammy run, running the streets, she was back home with her daughter and her family around those who really care about her. Go ahead and check this out. I want to keep on saying thank you, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Bardi Gang, because y'all love me through the good and the bad. <clears throat> And the fake and the lies. I want to say thank you, everybody. This shit is crazy. Every award to me is special to me, though. From Grammys, AMAs, Billboards, BET, Soul Trade, Nickelodeon. Awards that I get for in another motherfucking country. I don't give a fuck. Every award, my nigga, goes to my mother's house. And every award to her is just as special. And it's just as special to me. And I am so thankful. I am so grateful, my nigga. I, I'm, I'm thankful for, for everybody that works with me. I think I'm thankful for all my friends that be texting me sometimes just for nothing. For my music team, for everybody, my family. I want to thank God, my nigga. Like, Amen. Amen. Thank you, God, for always being there for me. Thank you for covering me with the blood of your son. Oh, my God! Yeah, mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, so you guys just saw those videos, her after the Grammys, her with her daughter. And like I said, you know, this woman was very happy. She was on a high only to come back to social media the next day. And people were literally picking her apart, saying that she didn't deserve it, saying that she's an industry plant. I mean, the comments I was seeing towards Cardi B was definitely vicious. So much so that Chance the Rapper, J. Cole, and other celebrities came out to have her back and basically tell her, you know what? We know you worked hard. We know you did the damn thing. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out what Chance the Rapper and J. Cole had to say. And then also what Cardi B had to say when she was receiving so much backlash. I'm also gonna show you guys some of the backlash Backlash that she got as well. Go ahead and check this out. But it's not my style for people to put other people down to uplift somebody else. That's not my style and that's not what I'm with and I don't support that. However, I've been taking a lot of shit today. I'm seeing a lot of bullshit today and I saw a lot of shit last night. And I'm sick of this shit. I worked hard for my motherfucking album. I remember last year when I didn't want for Bodak Yellow. Everybody was like, Cardi got snub. Cardi would have got snub. Now this year's a fucking problem. My album went two-time platinum, my nigga. And every chart that it was, my album was always top ten. Number one album as well. I fucking worked my ass off, locked myself in the studio for three months, my nigga. Then went to sleep in my own bed, sometimes for four days straight. Pregnant. Some songs couldn't even get on the fucking album because my nose was so fucking stuffy from my pregnancy. Niggas couldn't sleep. Niggas couldn't do shit. While everybody was harassing me like, you're not gonna do it, we know you pregnant, your career is over, that shit dwelling in my fucking mind while I...
right, so you guys just saw those posts. You guys also saw what Cardi B had to say. And the thing that she was addressing in the video is that a lot of people were saying that it was because of her that BET attacked Nicki Minaj. And she was making it clear in that video that she had nothing to do with it, okay? So then it was just more and more hate coming towards her. So yesterday I laid down early, I took a nap because I had been out all day running around getting stuff for this product shoot. And so I went to sleep and I woke up a few hours later only to see that Cardi B's entire page was gone. She deleted her whole Instagram page. She basically deactivated it because she couldn't take any more of the negativity. People coming to her page telling her that she didn't deserve it. She's a Latina trying to be black, you know, just going in on her. And as we all know, Cardi B is sensitive. She's on social media. She sees those comments. She internalizes them, even though I wish that she wouldn't. You know, I've told her, focus on the positivity. You're way too blessed to be worried about what the naysayers have to say to be catering to low-hanging fruit. When you cater to low-hanging fruit and you acknowledge low-hanging fruit, you then become the same batch of bad fruit, okay? So you got to stay positive. You got to keep your eye on the prize. Motherfuckers are always going to talk. They're always going to have something to say. Let them talk. At the end of the day, they're not taking your bag. They can't take your Grammy win from you. You did that. You put in the work. You know the work that you put into your album. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. And you know what I really noticed about this Cardi B situation that's not only sad, but it's also problematic? And I talked about this with another big YouTuber, and he agreed as well. And it's like people will watch you start from the ground up. It's like people will support you, they'll root for you. When she was that young girl on Instagram doing skits, clowning, and her teeth was messed up and she was a stripper, folks loved her. She was funny. Folks supported her. But then when she start to glow up, once you start to say, you know what, I want something better for myself. I want to do more. You know what I'm saying? I have an audience. They support me. They're liking me. I want to take things to the next level. Then at that time, yeah, people will still support you, but you'll have a few people, you know, they'll start feeling some kind of way. They'll start getting uncomfortable. Because again, as long as everybody's on the same plateau, as long as you're on the same level as somebody, folks are cool. But the second cream starts rising to the top, some people feel a certain type of way, okay? And I feel like that's what's going on with Cardi B. When she was that stripper chick struggling on Instagram, trying to make ends meet, you know what I'm saying, just trying to live her life and, and, and trying to find a way to come up in the industry, folks supported her. Once she did that and she surpassed that to nobody's expectations, nobody thought some little stripper from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying, who was on Instagram while and out, who didn't speak perfect English, would ever become a serious artist, let alone a Grammy winner. Nobody envisioned that, including Cardi B. You know what I'm saying? And now that she's won that, it's made a lot of people feel some type of way. And to me, you may not agree with her Grammy win, and that's fine. But to me, to sit there and constantly attack her and bring her all that negativity, it says a lot more about the people who are leaving her those comments. It says a lot more about where they're at in life because people who are successful, people who are okay, people who are comfortable in their own skin, they don't have to troll Cardi B and make her feel less than. They don't have to take her moment from her to the point where she deactivates her account because of all the negativity that she was getting. So the entire situation is just insane, but it just goes to show you that people will support you, people will have love for you, but only to a certain extent, okay? Now, am I saying that her album was the best out of all of them? You know what I'm saying? I loved her album. To me, it banged from start to finish, but Nipsey Hussle's album was very lyrical. He made a lot of good points in his album. It was very woke, you know what I'm saying? I definitely like Nipsey Hussle's album as well, but let's keep it real. Whose name was buzzing all year long in the music industry? Nobody was buzzing like Cardi B. And y'all can say it's a popularity contest or not, but that doesn't negate the fact that more people know who she is and they do Nipsey Hussle. So did her popularity maybe have a play in her winning the award? It might have, but it doesn't take away from the fact that she was still nominated and she was able to win something that a lot of artists have not been able to do. And everybody wants to say that, you know, it's just an award. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. But if it's just an award and it doesn't matter, then why are people so pressed? You know what I'm saying? That's what you have to ask yourself. If it's just the white man's award and nobody gives a fuck, then nobody should be pressed. If it's not a big deal, there shouldn't be people in the industry feeling no type of way. You know, just like what Drake said, you shouldn't feel bad if you don't have an award. You should be grateful for the fans who support your music and who like what you do. Tupac didn't have no Grammy and he was still one of the best musicians to ever do it. So I just find the situation sad that it got to this point. You know, but I think for now, Cardi B, she just needs to stay off of social media, stay away from 
the negativity and come back when you feel ready to come back. At this point in time, stop explaining yourself. Stop trying to tell people what you did to make your album pop. You don't have to explain yourself to the haters. Focus on your fans. Focus on the people who love you. Focus on the people who support your music. Focus on the people who want to see you win. That's where your focus should be. You should stop giving energy to low-hanging fruit. Point blank, period. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Cardi B. How do you guys feel about all this drama? How do you guys feel about her being trolled? Do you feel like she deserved her Grammy win and she worked hard for it? Or do you feel like, nope, somebody else should have got it? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Shut up, shut up, bro. Shut up, bro. Shut up, my nigga, shut up.